What is going on everybody and in this video I want to talk about the iPads and more specifically a way how you can log individual apps in the iPad. And it is actually a very easy and a very handy way how you can log individual applications of course using your passcode which is really useful and let's dive into the video right now. A couple of disclaimers at first. So this trick or feature or whatever you want to call it is only going to work on devices running iOS 12. In case you don't have a device that supports this latest version of iOS, don't worry, I made a video for the older devices so you can easily jailbreak your older device and that means that you have unlimited options and you can log your apps using jailbreak tweaks even easier and I think it is a lot better. But also it's going to work not only on the iPad but also on the iPhone or even iPod touch but just like I said iOS 12 is necessary. There are multiple ways how you can use this feature but I'm going to show you the one that I prefer so you need to open up the settings and head over to the new section which appear in the iOS 12 and that one is called screen time. So you need to head over to this section and now you have the downtime. You need to tap on it and for this you need to enter the passcode so right now you can already see that it is logged with the passcode so type the one that you use apparently this one is not correct it looks like i completely forgot my restrictions passcode on the iphone but uh, fortunately i have this iphone around which also runs the iOS 12 and for this one uh, the very same things apply. So you need to head over to the settings and to this section which says screen time. If you don't have it enabled just turn it on. Now you can see all of the features and all of that so let's continue and this is my iPhone. So turning it on you can see that two seconds is my actual screen time. So use screen time passcode, click on this and create a new one. For the purposes of today's video I'm just gonna go like this but probably you should consider a little bit safer password. Now click on the downtime, hit the passcode once again, and now you get to this section. Turn it on, and you need to set the time. I would suggest you to have it all the time, so I would turn it on like this in order to make sure that it's gonna be enabled throughout the day. So I need to come back and now actually choose the always allowed apps. So always allowed apps are actually this at the top. So I would click on every single plus icon that you can see right here. I know that if you have tons of apps, I know that if you have too many apps, it's going to take a lot of time, but I think that it really works well. So here we are. I have added every single application and you can notice that uh, the phone app is not able to be changed or modified. It can stay like it is, so it needs to be always allowed. So now let's say that I want to hide the email from a person. Let's say that somebody asked me to give them my iPad and I will say, okay, but I don't want you to see my mails. So I will go to the settings quickly and I will go to this always allowed section, enter the passcode and simply remove the mail app from this list by clicking on the minus icon so i'm going to remove it and now that means that this app isn't allowed every single day so i need to come back to the home screen and now you can see that you're not able to get inside the app because it is impossible the only option that you have right here is to ask for more time and for this you need to enter the passcode which of course you have no idea about. So this would be it, this is how you log apps in the iOS 12 and for this you of course don't need a jailbreak, it works natively within the iOS 12. For this situation when we only want to log one app or a very small amount of apps, for this you need to use the feature where all of the apps are allowed and only one or two are having the green plus icon but on the other hand if you would like to have every single app locked and only one available then you it would need to be the opposite way so only one app would be right here with the minus icon and all the other apps would be with the plus icon of course with the phone app because this one is the app which you are not able to modify so so it needs to be allowed every single time and the reason why we have chosen the start at zero and the end at 23.59 is because we want to have it enabled 24-7, which these settings technically do. So yeah, this would be it. This is how you log individual apps in the iOS 12. This is how you do it on the iPhone. This is how you do it on the iPad. It works on every single of those devices. And now I want to say thank you very much for watching. I really hope you found this video informative and useful. And if you did, I want you to leave a like, leave a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. And for more similar content like this, just smash that subscribe button and see you in the next one. Peace out guys.